Hi and welcome to this video and in this video we're going to talk about circuits and flying circuits and we are going to go through that dreaded orientation where the quad is facing directly at you and your controls are effectively reversed. So we're going to talk about how we deal with that, how we cope with the fact that we're going to fly through an orientation where if anything was to go wrong we just don't know which way to push the sticks. And this is one of those ones where the first few times you do it you're probably going to push the sticks the wrong way but this is a simulator so it doesn't matter so the key thing is that you get this to the point where you can fly it reliably in the simulator before you try and do it with a real quad because the last thing you want to do when a quad is flying at you is not know what you're supposed to be doing with the sticks because your only course your only recourse in that situation is to hit the disarm and hope that the momentum that the quad is carrying isn't going to carry it into somebody who stood in the pits or stood alongside you or in fact fly the quad into yourself okay if the props are stopped it's probably not going to do too much damage but we don't really want to be in that situation let's let's get it right in the sim first before we try and do it out on the field so the first thing to work out before you decide you're going to fly a circuit is which way you prefer to fly them so if you just try to fly a circuit like this for instance this is an anti-clockwise circuit and you fly that around and kind of get a feel for it now they may not be as tidy as the ones I'm doing here but that's not the point the point is to just fly it and see which one feels more comfortable for you because one of them will all pilots are handed and one of these directions will feel better than the other. You'll feel more comfortable flying the quad around in one of these directions than the other. And whichever one is the one you're more comfortable with, that's the one you want to start learning to fly the circuit with first. Now handedness is a very common thing and it happens in FPV mode as well. And you only need to watch someone's flight when they're flying FPV to spot handedness. If you notice, for instance, when someone's doing freestyle, that they always do a spin to the right, roll to the right, but you very, very rarely see one to the left, like that. Roll to the left again. If you rarely see a left-handed one, then that pilot is handed with right-hand rolls. If you always see a backflip, but very rarely a forward one, then again that there's some handedness going on and they've practiced one manoeuvre more than the other have got comfortable with it and then that becomes a default or almost programmed behaviour they do more of that manoeuvre than another one so that's handedness and it's something to battle against you should always try to do the same amount of a certain manoeuvre both one way and the other otherwise your flying becomes stagnant it becomes boring to watch because it's the same thing over and over and over again Okay, so once you've worked out which way is more comfortable for you to fly, then it is time for you to start trying to fly it. Now we've already done the lazy eights in a previous video where you're turning away from yourself and flying around like this and then turning away from yourself and flying around. So the way to get into doing a full circuit is to get into your lazy eights like this, get comfortable flying them around like this and then whichever way you're handed get into the turn and just keep it going just keep it going and go all the way around like that even if you just freeze on the sticks just so that it just kind of keeps going that's fine because you just want to get your nerves past the point where you know it's flying towards you and you just haven't got a clue which way to push the stick in order to correct and change anything if anything's going wrong but if you just kind of get it flowing around a circuit so let's get back into these lazy eights so we're getting into our lazy eights you know we're nice and comfortable flying these now we can fly these nice and quickly and they're not causing us any bother at all to fly these and then we come around and say okay so this one's going to be a circuit so just push it out a bit further away from you and then just freeze on the sticks and let it just keep coming round and then you've got it, it's back in that known orientation and that is the way to get into doing circuits so start off doing something you, that you're familiar with and then 
just turn it into the new maneuver that you want to fly so we start off doing a lazy eight we're comfortable with that and then we're just going to fly this one out a bit deeper and then just turn it around and just keep it going freeze on the sticks keep it going and around it goes and that's the way to get into flying circuits and then once you're comfortable with that and you've done it one way then get back into your lazy eights we're going to do a lazy eight that way we're going to do a lazy eight that way and then as you come around for this one this is the one where we're going to throw it out deeper in front of us so we've got more space and then bring it around and then just freeze on the sticks let it fly around and back into a orientation we know and then just go straight back into a lazy eight go straight back to the familiar again calm your nerves off and then once you're happy that you'll calm down again prepare yourself fly out deeper and go for that kind of freeze on the sticks just let it come round and then you're back into the familiar again and you can go back into lazy eight and this is the way to kind of accustom yourself to the nerves of flying this maneuver what you don't want to do is just go out and keep flying around and around and around the same circuit that's putting you in that uncomfortable position because that uncomfortable position makes it difficult for you to learn what you want is for you to be in a calm frame of mind so that when you do do the maneuver yes it raises your heart rate a little bit yes you feel unfamiliar but then you very quickly return to a calm state again it's very difficult to learn when you're in an agitated state but if you continually keep returning to stuff you know you can do and then just try the thing that you know that you're trying to learn and then return back to the thing you know you can do then you'll learn much more quickly than if you just try and bludgeon yourself to death with trying to fly the circuit around and around and around in front of you in that agitated nervous state so that's a, a good tip for learning is just and particularly in real life because you'll be much much more nervous in real life so in real life definitely definitely get your lazy eights going and then do one circuit and then do lazy eights again and then do one circuit again so that you keep yourself calm and you don't build yourself up to a state where you you're unable to learn okay so that's it for circuits I'm not going to say anything more about it it's just turning a lazy eight into a full circuit that's the the easiest way to learn them and do it both ways so once you've got it good one way then learn it the other way